Mm-hmm. Can you say hi? Hi. Look inside at the camera. Hi. Hi. Hi, welcome back to Nat Paint That. Today we're going to be doing a Mother's Day painting, and I'm painting this for my mom. She lives all the way down in Panama, thousands and thousands of miles away from New York, and so I miss her very much. Paint. You want another paintbrush? You're welcome. So, that's, I'll be painting a rose for her, and happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. I hope you have a great Mother's Day this Sunday, and so let's get started. I'll put the link to the photo that I'm using as the reference photo in the comments below. Basically, I just started off with a pencil and just sketching it all out. And then I went, wanted to go over it and tone the canvas down with burnt umber. So I, what I did, how I did that was I just added a, a good amount of water to my paintbrush and then used a large brush to kind of smooth it all out. If you don't have a big paintbrush to use, you can put a good amount of burnt umber and water and then just use a paper towel. It, you're, you could even just wet your paper towel and just smooth it all out to tone your canvas. And then I just basically sketched it all out with my paintbrush and burnt umber. Went over the background with Mars Black and different shades of gray and then titanium white. Just wanted to try something kind of different. And overall I did enjoy toning the canvas. I felt, felt like there were some things that I really liked about it and nothing I didn't like about it. So I think I might keep doing that. I mean you can make art however you'd like and you don't have to tone your canvas but there was something about it that I enjoyed and so I think I might I might want to try doing that again in the future. It's supposed to help you with realizing tones and colors better, or that's what I've heard before. So, And then for the glass there, you kind of see all I did was basically just paint in the stems and the leaves and then I went over it with a gray color and then over that with white and that's it. Really simple. The colors I'm using on the roses are cad red, titanium white, a tiny bit of cad yellow, and in some of the parts I used Mars black mixed with the red, kind of making that purple color. And you can tell I'm working at different times of day. I just took this painting in little chunks. And my kids were like, and just this exercise, it was almost like the way I did it with this, you know, sketching it out the way I did and all that, it was almost like like an adult coloring book. You know, that, that level of therapy or therapeutic, um, just kind of filling everything in and only really paying attention to the values, how light or dark something is, trying to catch the highlights. my children at they said does painting make you really happy mommy and because we what we do is we do homeschool in the morning and then after they're all done they usually ride their bikes around or if it's kind of a cloudy rainy day or whatever I'll let them watch something and so I put something on for them and I was painting in the same room I had to move upstairs so usually where I paint whenever you see me with the black backdrop I'm down in my basement painting and which was fine but then I started to realize that I was kind of getting sick a lot and I don't know if it was just because it was winter or what was going on but I feel like maybe there's something going on with our basement so we're gonna have that looked at and possibly fixed soon so that I can go back down there but right now my my desk is right in the middle of all the action upstairs which is kind of fun because my kids get to watch me doing something I love and 
And so maybe in a future episode I might do something with them. I'm not sure how I could do that. I might need to look for more artists that include their kids in their painting videos. Might have to see how I can include them more. But tell me what kinds of things you guys have been doing. What kinds of things have you been up to? Like, is there anything that you've started up? A new hobby that you've started up? Or you've just been really busy with studying in school or working from home? Have you started up any projects? We've got lots of projects around here. Today I I organized my closet by in like colors, you know, like it looks like it's all color coded now. And that's not my personality type. Organizing doesn't really really turn me on, but it looked really cute at the end and so I thought this is worth it and also I get to give away clothing. So that's nice and now when I go in there I'm gonna be able to find the things I need so that's extra nice right but do you have any projects like that I've also been thinking I keep seeing a lot of quarantine haircuts and I actually have a YouTube video on a quarantine haircut that I gave my son I actually cut all my kids hair and and you know it doesn't it's not that weird cutting their hair but um, for me because that's something I already do but I haven't always cut my own hair and I started doing that more and I've been seeing a lot of people just go in and chop inches and inches off and I've been thinking maybe I should cut my hair and so I've been going back and back and forth like because I did chop all my hair off one time and there are some good things about it don't have to use as much conditioner don't have to worry too much about what I look like because, well, there's not much to do when your hair is so short. But then I'll see somebody with really long hair, you know, post a picture or a video and I'll think, oh, they look so nice with their long hair and I still have long hair. Why do I want to chop it all off? So, but if I'm going to do something like that, this would be the time to do it, right? Um, since it's quarantine time. But anyways, I know what my mama would say. She would say, no, no, Nat, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> so maybe I won't, but let me know if you guys have been doing anything crazy like dyeing your hair crazy colors or just something different. You know, I know that, what's her name, Joanna on YouTube, I saw that she shaved her head. Now, I don't think I could ever go through with doing that. I am not even remotely curious about what I'd look like anyway, so I think I'm good there, but um, all right, here I'm just lightening up that leaf, giving it some highlights. So at the end, I went ahead and I painted the edges blue. I wasn't sure what color I wanted to paint them, and I painted them blue, and I really didn't like the way blue looked, so then I went over it and I painted it white, and I really liked the way the white looked you can see here, I've got paint in my nails, sorry about that, but see how that white looks nice. And I don't mind that the underpainting showed showing. And I just used house paint for that, just like a sample of house paint. It worked great. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye.